My name is uh, Michael Oyebode and I'm uh, one of the table tennis coaches at this uh, 2016 Rio Olympic Games. It takes the whole life, the whole life to train an athlete to, to be at the Olympics. So anybody that you see at the Olympics right now, especially in table tennis, must have been training. I think maybe when he or she is like eight, nine years old, okay, is 41 years old and she's been playing all her life. That can tell you how many years she's been playing. Played my first Olympics and I'm so, so, so very happy to be here. We have five athletes, two women and three, three boys. And uh, yes, our chances. We are now the talk of the town all over the world now because our boy go to the quarterfinal. I mean, Aaron Kodri go to the quarterfinals of the men's singles, and that is the greatest achievement any African player has ever made. So to us, that is more than any gold medal. Yes, we could have done better, but being at the quarterfinals of the Olympic is not a very easy thing, and we are very happy. We are very, very, very much happy, and I believe all the table tennis family, African table tennis family, Nigerian table tennis family are very happy about that. We actually qualified to come. If we did not qualify, we would not come to the Olympics. It's not a matter of the NOC bringing them or not. We actually qualified, otherwise we would not be here. Others did not make the Olympic uh, qualifications, others did not make the Olympic target. So there are, there are so many factors. What I know for sure, some sports, if they did not qualify, they would not be here. If we table tennis doesn't qualify, we cannot be here. I have been a player all my life. I did not make it to the Olympic. And now as a coach, I've made it to the Olympic and like, the talk of the town. You see, I don't stay in Nigeria, I'm a professional coach. I coach in Italy. And it's like all the Italians are looking for me now, they want to talk to me. Uh, an Italian, Nigerian, coaching Nigerian team, they want to talk to me. So it's like, I don't know, it's like I've won a lot of things. So <laughs> nobody can describe what it will be if we actually win a medal. Nobody can, because being here alone is more than a medal for us. So if we win a medal, I just cannot even imagine it. But it's not, it doesn't cost us anything to dream. Dreaming does not cost anything, so we are still dreaming. And uh, for some of us, the dream is true already. Like myself, my dream has, has, come to, has come to pass. And if we eventually win a medal, it's going to be like fascinating. Yes. <laughs>